bring up a couple things the opponents had uh, brought up earlier. Um, what is the profile of a psychopath? How do you know who's a psychopath? How do you know I'm not a psychopath? How do you know someone else is not a psychopath? There's no real way to ever tell. Yeah, I mean, you can go to uh, you know a shrink, whatever. They can say one thing, but obviously it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop there. It doesn't you know stop someone from doing other things. Um, just because you're a psychopath and someone restricts you from buying a gun does not mean you're not going to be able to get a gun. Um, so, uh, Chris Lynn, uh, she said that the assault weapons ban is uh, much different than the 94 ban. How? I don't remember her listing anything other than um, a grandfathering rule, which was the same thing in the 94 ban, of being able to be grandfathered and then pass to another uh, sale. So. Um, by you being grandfathered, you have uh, so sole ownership of this weapon. You do what you want. You can take it where you want. It's yours. It's been grandfathered. I can transfer it to him if I want to. All it takes is a, a you know a legal paper right now. And honestly, it doesn't even take that. I can hand it to him, and you know he can go shoot something. So I mean, regulations uh, like that are not gonna uh, restrict people from doing mass shootings. Like if someone wants to murder, I mean, they're going to. Um, right here, um, from Charles C. Uh, w. Cook in the National Review. Uh, those that are willing to break the laws against murder do not care about the, re uh, the regulation of firearms and will get a hold of weapons, whether they're doing so legal or not. Um, also, uh, Chris Lynn brought up homicide rates in a bunch of different countries. She didn't give any facts on what about the homicide rates. Were they assault weapons? Were they just overall assault, uh, homicide rates? Uh, you know, handguns used, like, I didn't hear any of that. Also, how can you compare homicide rates from a much larger and populated country to Turkey? She mentioned Turkey, she mentioned several other small countries. How can we compare as uh, the US to that? Well, again, I say we have the most weapons. We also have the highest homicide rate, aside from assault weapons, aside from handguns. You know, we have one of the higher ones. So. Um, also, she explains we can uh, fix the loopholes. I didn't hear the mention of loopholes, of what loopholes that we were going to fix in this 2013 ban. Um, so, I think this 2013 ban has come into uh, play a lot more because uh, there's been shootings recently. And every time that there's mass shootings, there's always talk about gun control. There's not talk about gun control before the shooting. Not until someone goes, oh no, that's horrible. Well, yes, it is horrible. We don't want something horrible like that to happen. But, I mean, regardless, it's going to happen. So, um, also, let's go back to um, them talking about the Constitution and the rights of that. So, the framers of the Constitution couldn't envision televisions computers, mobile phones, either, items used by Americans in exercising their First Amendment rights, or satellites, drones, eavesdropping equipment that could be used to violate the Fourth Amendment rights. They didn't know about any of that. How could they foresee that? How could they know about the future? It's hard to write it in there if you don't know, right? So, but that doesn't render those rights irrelevant. So, the Supreme Court addressed the nonsense of this myth in the District of Columbia versus Heller, 2008, saying, some have made the argument bordering on the ferocious of that only those arms in existence in the 18th century are protected by the Second Amendment. So since it was written in the 18th century, only those are protected by the Second Amendment? That's not true. Um, so, back to the amendment protects our individual rights um, at, uh, aren't concerned with technology, they're concerned with freedom. It's not specifically saying assault weapons, they're saying weapons to protect yourself. The purpose of the Second Amendment was to ensure that Americans would always possess arms of sufficient type and quantity at a last resort for terrorist attacks, for rioting. I mean, assault weapons are needed. Uh, during the LA riots, um, Korean uh, store owners were the few that didn't get their stores burned down. Why? Because they sat on top of the roof with an assault weapon. I'm sorry, a large crowd does not want to go after assault. And you have a handgun, six shots. Six shots versus 100 people. You do the math. I mean, by having assault weapons out there, and, I mean, 
like I said, it's a safety factor. So, also, um, this would also be for all other attempts of rights from like a tyrannical uh, government. So, for some reason, a government goes AWOL, you know, we're gonna have these weapons. So, I mean, yeah, it's happened before. Um, the King of England has flipped out several times in the 1780s, 1790s. I mean, it's, it's bound to happen again. So, like I said, assault weapons are not the deadly uh, force, it's the person behind it. You guys make it way hard to talk when you're